Hello my very most beautiful Aquarians. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your September bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now it is still a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. I have recorded video readings as well as Zoom readings. And the recorded readings are on sale for the next three days. You can get two questions for $15 or four questions for $30. And everything that you guys will need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. You can also follow me over on Patreon. I do additional readings over there. Spiritual growth, personal development, money and career, as well as love readings. And there's a link for that in the description box as well. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Aquarians, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. All right, Aquarians, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. I wish I could take back my words. Reconciliation. I can't sleep. I promise I won't hurt you. And then we have flirt at the bottom of the deck. Wow. I think somebody could be, uh, we're going to take a look. I do feel like somebody could be reaching out in a very casual way for some of you guys. Um, you know, very flirty, just very light. Maybe even not flirty, but just, you know, how are you? Something like that. Just a very light It's how it's feeling to me with that flirt energy. Um, even though I think that there has been something pretty serious that has happened here between the two of you. I think that there could have been, for some of you guys, it could have been an, uh, like an altercation or, you know, a, a fight, a disagreement that just went too far. I think this person could have really lashed out and said some things because of where they were at. And I think they're having a lot of regrets. For others of you, I think this is somebody that you've been in separation with that's kind of trying to lightly re-enter because they miss you. I think they have a lot of regrets about what's happened here, but they spend a lot of time thinking about you. So we're going to get their headspace, their heart space, their true intentions, and their actions with the tarot here. Show me what's going on in this person's thoughts. What's going on in their headspace when it comes to Aquarians? We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, ready to hash things out, ready to have these big conversations. They recognize that there is a lot that they have to, you know, that needs to be talked about, okay? And the Queen of Swords is like having those big conversations, is hashing things out, talking about those complicated, difficult things, right? Those difficult topics, subjects. Three of Cups, reconciliation. So wanting to talk things over, wanting to talk through this, wanting to reconcile. They could be asking you, with this flirt and this three of cups, that can be like spending time together, hanging out. They could be a date. It's definitely a card for dating, you know? So they could be asking you on a date because they want to spend time together. Like, let's get together and talk. You know, that's what that feels like to me. The chariot. Wanting to, think, wanting to move things forward with you. Wanting to move towards you. If you guys are at a distance, they could be like, you know, I mean, I'm willing to come to you even. Let's go on a date. Let's talk. That kind of a thing. Tell me this person's heart space. What's going on in their feelings when it comes to Aquarius? You got the Two of Pentacles. Trying to keep it together. That's what that feels like. The Two of Pentacles can be just like trying to have feeling like you have a lot on you and just trying to keep it all balanced, try to keep it all together. They could also know that, you know, the decision really is up to you, that they can um, present themselves. They can try to you know, present themselves and try to explain themselves or have this conversation with you, try to apologize, all of that. But at the end of the day, the decision is up to you. I think that's something that's sitting with them. And they have the world card because they're worried. They're worried that you're like, it's whatever, whatever happened here, that that was, that was going to be it. That was the cause of it to be over for good. So they, that's could be one of the reasons why they're having such a hard time keeping it together because they do have a lot of fear that maybe you're done. At the seven of pentacles that maybe you're no longer willing to invest into this this 
Seven of Pentacles can also be a card of overanalyzing, you know, really analyzing something. And the Two of Pentacles making a decision. So I do, I feel like they recognize that you may need some time to figure things out as well. What are their person's true intentions towards Aquarius? We got the Tower. The Justice card. So they feel like they ruined everything. Like they just tore this apart. I feel like they do want to make things right. They want to apologize for what happened here. Whatever was said, whatever was done that came, making the tower crash down. Like that's what they want to make right. That's what they want to apologize for. That's their true intention here. And the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is actually the first card in the tarot where you really see any kind of like foundation. Um or any kind of structure, I guess is a better way, any kind of structure. And, you know, it can really catapult you. Threes are about creation and expression. I think that a lot has been put on display for this person about themselves, about their actions. And I also feel like they want to get back to a place that has the potential to catapult them and you guys to something more, right? To like working back on rebuilding a structure, rebuilding a foundation with you here. Three of Pentacles is a card of working together to create something, to build something. It's a card of getting along. It is a card of potential in general, and it's the only it is the only card in the whole deck where the pentacles are gray and not gold. And it speaks of the potential that's there but has not been realized yet because it takes work. It's still being created. So they, I think they do recognize that it's going to take some work, but they are willing to do it here. They do want to make this right. That's their true intention. So let's see if their actions align with that. They have the seven of swords. The Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. And Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords wants to come out in the reverse. To me, this feels like self-sabotage with the Seven of Swords. We're really seeing where they like where they sabotage this because of whatever was going on with them or whatever was going on in their day. You know, they have a lot of clarity about that situation. They have a lot of clarity about that with the Seven of Swords being with the Ace of Swords. So they've had some kind of like mental breakthrough about what it's cost them. So really seeing where they sabotage things at the Six of Swords, really wanting to move past that. Um, but the Knight of Swords in the reverse, like not wanting to push you or not wanting to rush. So I do think you're going to hear from this person. But I do think that they recognize, especially with this energy here, talking about taking time. I think that they are going to recognize that, or reckon, yes, they are going to recognize that you guys may need some time to see. I feel like they're just trying not to rush you here. But we are going to get some advice for you guys. What advice do we have for our beautiful Aquarians, please? That was fast. The lovers and the high priestess. I think Spirit's telling you to trust your intuition when you make the decision. I think that they're really, because the lover can represent a major decision, right? Um, but I also kind of feel like the lovers can also represent a turning point. So I do feel like you know, I think that this could be a turning point within this connection if this is something that you feel is best for you to allow back in. Only you guys get to make that decision. Only you guys know what's best for you. Um, but I feel like you guys are being asked to listen to your intuition, to really trust your intuition, okay? But that is what I have for you. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.